The Oklahoma weather is wreaking havoc with my sinuses today, so this is going to be a very short episode. Welcome to Blog Oklahoma. This is going to be a very quick episode. I'm really not feeling well today. With the high winds kicking up dust and pollen, I have one seriously allergy-induced sinus headache going on. My head hurts quite a bit. It's an understatement. You know, it's one of those kind of sinus headaches that even blinking hurts. Yeah, that's what's going on today. Now, since I missed last week's episode, sorry about that, I didn't want to go another week without putting something out. Um, I've already missed most of the year. I don't want to have another repeat of that, even if I don't feel well. Uh, What really sucks, though, is I have a few more tasks to do after I get this done. Uh, The primary one I got to do today is cleaning out our floor furnace. Yes, our uh, house is heated by one of those old-fashioned floor furnaces. You know, the kind you can stand over and get toasty warm. (laughs) Oh, that's great. And believe it or not, it's very efficient. It uses very little gas, and it heats our home very nicely. But before it gets really cold, I have to give it a good dusting and vacuum up any cat hair or dog food that might have fallen into it. Trust me, you don't want to smell that if the heater kicks on. Um, What else do I got to do today? Oh, yeah, I have to remove the air conditioners out of the windows. But I'm thinking I'll probably do that later this week because... uh, it's going to predict it to be like 85 degrees on Thursday, even though it's 47 degrees today on Sunday. Oh, got to love this Oklahoma fall weather. <laughs> After all that, I plan just to curl up on the couch and pass out or something. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> oh, what I did want to do today is remind you of some very important dates coming up. If you haven't registered to vote yet here in Oklahoma, sorry, it's too late. You can go ahead and register, but you will not be able to vote in the November 3rd general election. Sorry, that deadline is come and gone. You'll have to wait until the next election cycle. If you are registered to vote and you want to vote absentee, you'll only have until Tuesday, October 27th to request an absentee ballot. It is really encouraged that you don't put this off and request your absentee ballot now. As soon as you get your ballot, fill it out, sign it, go get it notarized, or attach a copy of your driver's license to it, and then drop it in the mail. Try to get it in the mail before Monday, November 2nd. Um, If you would like to vote early, you could vote at your local county elections board on October 29th, 30th, and 31st. For even more details on how to request an absentee ballot or where you can vote early, please visit ok.gov slash elections. That was ok.gov slash elections. One last important day coming up, Daylight Saving Time ends on Sunday, November 1st. It will be time once again to fiddle with the knobs on the back of your clock and set those clocks back one hour. Joy. Also, I'd like to remind you to change the batteries and test your smoke alarms and CO detectors, especially those carbon monoxide, a.k.a. CO, detectors. With heaters about to start firing up, you don't want to stray exhaust leak from preventing you from ever waking up again. So please, get those CO detectors checked. Well, that's going to do it for me this week, so here's my outro. I hope you have a great week, and I'll be back next time with hopefully a full episode. Your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get hold of me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. Check our show notes for all the links and bonus material from today's episode. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma. Until next time.